Welcome back to the channel and thank you for joining me in another episode here in Satisfactory, guys. Uh, in this short episode, I'm gonna show you how to stay safe in Satisfactory. I'm talking about those nasty creatures, animals out there. It has to do everything with the blueprint designer. Okay, so I made some blueprints in here. Uh, this is my safe house. Okay, so when I'm out and about and exploring, I'm gonna show you how I did it. Um, I gotta take a call, or I don't gotta go to the toilet. Stuff. I love this boy down. Get inside here. I'm safe. Okay. If I have those pesky flyers around, I can get down here. I'm safe. I don't have to stop the game. I don't have to exit from the game. It's done in a split second. It's safe. Okay. Next stuff that I done. A tower. This is for hunting creatures out there okay let's say that this is a big bad birdie here okay I can get up here this fences will protect me from the flyers or from the spitters and uh, you can start pounding them you know just like uh, he ran away he knew it he knew it <laughs> I don't know. weapon of your choice novelists whatever uh, I put those fences down in there because while I was testing this, those uh, hogs and the spitters, they wanted to get as close as possible to me in here. And I was unable to get them from up, up in here. So like this, they won't be able to get in there. Also, roof for the fires so that they cannot get in. Normally they don't get in through these spaces. You could have surprises, so have your sword ready and your medicinal inhaler, nutritional inhaler, or one of the other 80 types of inhalers out there. So this is solely for hunting. If I want to clean out the spot and I have, I don't know, let's see those bed hawks that are throwing rocks at you. This is the way to do it. In my humble opinion, of course, you could have a million other designs in here. Uh, let's delete that one. Blueprint. Uh, number one. This is the fence that will drop any animal in there. <laughs> that bird is trapped. She won't be able to get out now. You're trapped there, mister. Uh, we're gonna test them on uh, some wildlife in here in a second. And this is the 2x2 two two trap, in the case you got a bunch of enemies which you may find, uh, you may find that in the middle of the map like in here, especially if you're getting close to bauxite, that's aluminum and uranium, you're gonna find them, okay, so also in the oil fields, you're gonna find a bunch of them in one place you just plug this one down, you just capture yourself in there I don't know what and then you can just uh, separate them you know I mean isolate them like that or just put in here your tower or just stay in here and whack them whack them till they're dead or I don't know you could just be peaceful about it okay I mean put one of these down is not okay they will not bother you we will uh, test all of this let me show you how to do that actually it's pretty simple but let me show you anyway so we come to blueprint designer I'm gonna load them in so I got it here at exploration let's say small safe house okay this is simple one by one foundation with four walls with eight fences on top of each other just the simple as you can get you just stick it in there and that's it. I put a ladder in here maybe I don't have enough jetpack fuel at the time or something like that I, I run out so that I can get up easily uh, you don't need to put ladders on each and every single side it's safe like this if you stay here 
those pesky friars will get to your level, but they will not get above. Uh, this is not to handles. This is only to keep you safe while you're exploring and you're busy. If you get down here, nothing is gonna reach you. They won't be able to see you. They will not get aggro, even if they will. These walls will protect you. Those friars will not get through there and through here. I tested this, okay? So let's, uh, yeah, let's, let's get out of here and clear this guy the tower is actually the most let's see difficult but it's not that difficult we're gonna leave that on for later so tower uh fences down in here uh you can use what kind of fences you want if you want you can put walls it's the same effect basically but i like it more wrong like that those are only corner extensions that I moved with H, you know, nudge them, put them in place wherever you want it, and that's about it. Put four of them in there, a couple of fences, this guy up top in the same way, just had a pillar in here in the middle, concrete, small, and put that one up top, and easy peasy, the must you know. Clear. Load two by two trap, same thing. Walls, a two by two. No foundation because if you have foundation, you will not be able to put it around an animal, of course. Now, keep in mind, this one works very well uh, on normal ground. If you have a steep incline, they will be able to get uh, underneath. <laughs> So that's why we have the other one, the one by one, you know. Clear, load, explore. Where is the one by one? I don't know. Did I move it? I moved it. Okay, it's in there. One by one fence. This, it's only fences with that thing up top. Um, when you're gonna put that foundation in there, let me just change it. It's, going, it's not going to want to snap in there, okay? It's going to want to snap in there. But you could leave it like that or do what I did. I put one on top of it. Took out the fence, took out that foundation. Put this one in here. Left is this Because, believe it or not, you have creatures that are higher than and you may not be able to trap them if you put that foundation there, you know. Uh, you get spiders that that big, yeah, amazing, I know. Uh, plus big hogs, the irradiated ones. And uh, you have some big spitters as well. Uh, their antennas are pretty big in there, so you might want to keep on eye out. Now, let me grab everything and let me show you something else. When I did all this, I wanted to make sure that no matter where I am, I will be able to put one of these down. So, this one, 13 concrete, 13 plates, 46 of those amazing rods. That's nothing. You always carry at least a stack of them with you, okay? That leather looks different in there, but once you put it down, it's going to be fine. See? This one. The tower. 62 concrete, 32 rods. Again, nothing. Number three, the fence for those guys. Uh, <laughs> five concrete, two plates, 32 iron rods. Nothing. And this one, the two by two trap. 16 concrete, 16 plates. So it's really nothing. Let's get, I don't know, I don't even know where I have creatures in here. Let's find some. Well, towards the... Hmm, in the grasslands in here. In here, or to that shore in there, we have some nasty stuff. Let me get in there. And uh, I'll catch you guys back when we have some enemies. Oh, we have a volunteer. So, from afar, he didn't even saw me, okay? I'm safe, he won't be able to get out. 
Oh, is that a slug? Come here, little buddy. Oh, it was all alone. Okay, back to business. That boy is inside there. He won't be able to get out. No matter what you do, what he does. You can mind your business in here, pretty safe. He won't be able to reach you. All you want to eliminate him. Well, as you may well see, he tends to stick his head out. Um, I don't know if that one will be fixed or not, but guess what? For now it works. Good stuff. Let's find something more, I don't know, deadly. More interesting to deal with, okay? Let's go towards uh, the beach in there, because in there it's, uh, it, it, it becomes uh, interesting. Let's put it like that. Oh, I found something. Look in there. I hate those things. So, I'm gonna grab my fence, get in there, plug it down. I've been playing for two hours, what do you know? Fix it! Bottle water. Check this out. Okay, perfectly safe. Uh, I think they would be able to get down through there. If you really want to, you can put some fences in there. But, I don't care about it. Of course, you can uh, whack them if you want. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it works. So you can deal with it like that. These boys will spawn if you get far away. So, one way to deal with those things grab yourself some hatchery things. Now, let's find something else. Oh, everybody's favorite. Oh, I get one. Next one. One down. They can jump up top in here, so make sure that you're... Eh. Oh my god, you're a bunch. Make sure that you got enough fuel. Uh, almost got it. How many are you exactly? Okay, I might have to plug my safe house down. Brandon, it's four of them. Two. Three. There's gotta be one more. Two more! It's five of them! <laughs> Amazing! Come on. Almost got you, almost got you, almost got you. Oh, 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 oh. The creature's in the way. I know, I'm trying to capture it. Oh, you, you're sitting right in here. Hold it. Uh, not anywhere. Yeah, kinda hard to build in here. Come, guys. Uh, I need you to stay. I think one of them is key. Or they just multiply. I don't know. Oops, out of fuel. I hate the fact that I don't have better fuel, but it is what it is. We got that guy. I got that guy. There is one more, isn't it? I hear a little buddy. I don't think it's gonna work on that slope. For sure, it's not gonna work on that slope. Did I get it? No. Well, let's just do this in that case. Okay. So, we got in here. I think the dead guy can get out of there because of the slope. This guy is kind of safe in here. This guy in here is safe. This guy in here. I'm not so sure about it. And this guy escaped, you see? Nevertheless, it's pretty good. We have four out of five. What do you think about that? 
uh, you may want to put uh, this fence but look at the incline I mean they they would have to be in even so they will be able to get out but with this trap in here well, I think it's pretty good now you can leave them in there or you know just do the right thing and uh, cleanse the land you know? yeah these guys um, they have to go in my opinion I don't know if they respawn or not but uh, this make me makes me feel happy you know having them inside gotcha idiot okay let's find the spitter I think we have some on this alley in here oh here we are they didn't have to go too far so let's put down that tower and test it okay let's see we wanna hunt this way hey how are you today yeah okay so he will shoot it if you're up here, he will not shoot. Or if he does, don't care about it. Um, where are you, mister? Got it once. Let's see. Come. He doesn't know what to do. Well, now, are you gonna shoot or not? Come on, we're making a video in here. Yep. You can take him from here. You can put him in that little cage. Uh, little cage. Power. This one. Uh. How are you making it not to snap? Oh, yeah. No. Oh, okay. I don't know where he is. He's in there. You cannot put this one in. Well, that's a little issue. Okay, let's try the big uh, the big trap. Okay, for this guy. And this guy alone. Come on, little buddy. We have work to do. Uh, gotta get up top somewhere. Maybe here? Yeah. Where are you? In there? Guess what? He's inside. Doing that. Now, you may be tempted to put those that have holes inside of them. Um, these guys, the conveyor wall, the creatures can pass through that hole. <laughs> Ask me how I know. <laughs> so, that guy is safe in there. Uh, let's try and put a fence inside of him. We cannot, because it's already built and it acts like a blueprint. Okay, let's delete that one and let's try and put it in a trap. Oops, got me. Not anymore he's inside i can go about my business in here safe don't really care about him let's find Oof. i don't even know what we kind of tested everything i mean we need big spiders we need oh one of the bed hogs you, so you see the incline, I would like him to be something that is a little more straight, like that. More level, should I say. Let's try that one out. This is a very easy way to, get, uh, to deal with the wildlife. You gotta get close to the fence, so that your sword gets inside them. Oh, you are already dead? Oh, I'm so sorry about that. Enough. Die. Okay, uh, bed hugs. Well, I'm not feeling like going in and too much. What is this? Oh, yeah. So, I think I have one of them on this bridge in here. So, guess what? I'm gonna make my way in there and catch you guys back in there. Oh, I just found one. Okay, let's grab the fence. Mm, fence, then. Well, I think uh, I didn't drop that one, but at least I can get up here. Uh, where? In there? That guy is safe. 
Well, I didn't expect you to do that, mister. Let's go the other way. Okay. How did that get there? That's what I want to know. Where are you? Stand there. Okay. Well, now this is something very interesting. Wouldn't you? This is very interesting what is going on here. He teleported up top. That means that cage. It too, it's too small for him. But guess what? Uh, let's make it. Uh, let's leave it like that, okay? Because this one has this floor up top just to deal with those flyers but in this case we're gonna make uh, an exception for mr fluffy teddy here and we're gonna do it like that good thing they teleport straight up top but these boys are pretty bad and there is the other version the one that throws at you that have a snout in here they throw st stones at you oh my god those are really uh, do you want to talk about the irradiated hugs? Oh my god, those are nasty. Uh, pay attention because this boy may actually hurt you to this uh, fence. Nevertheless, a lot easier to deal with, wouldn't you? Oh, he just said, and he's down. Deal. Now, let's clean the scenery. Um, I think we're gonna stop with the testing here and gonna show you the easiest, easiest, easiest way to deal with these guys. So, the easiest way <laughs> is to get in here in the options, gameplay, and see the creatures, put them on passive, or put them on retaliate. That means they will only attack you when you will attack. Okay, but passive, well, actually it's written down here, if you look at it. So, default, creature will attack players on site. That's how I play it right now. Passive, creature will attack players or retaliate when attacked by players. Retaliate, creature would only attack when attacked by players. Oh, and that passive will not attack. So, they'll run away, but they will not attack you. Anywho! That's uh, all about uh, this video in here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, you know, push some buttons in here. Thank you. I'll see you until the next one. Take care of you all.